Initiative from the East Baton Rouge Parish School District is giving teachers and you a chance to have your voice heard. It's all part of a plan to hear about problems that impact our students and perhaps find some solutions. Our Perry Robinson's got more on that tonight. Perry. Hey guys, it was a packed house as dozens of people shared their concerns and offered ways for the school district to improve. There was a clear message tonight from the parents at Glasgow Middle School. Next school year, I need help from y'all. The plea came in the middle of a special meeting between parents, teachers, and school leaders about some of their concerns within the school district. It's all a part of an initiative from Superintendent Cedar Narcisse to give the community a space to speak their mind and give feedback. I guess the biggest concern, just like most parents, uh, security of our kids while they're at school. Just last week, school officials say a Glasgow student was caught with a loaded gun in his backpack after a random search. Parents like Lyle Williams would like to see more officers at the school and better fencing to keep the campus safe. I just have to trust that the district's going to do a good uh, study to see what's going to work best, best with our funds and things of that nature at the school. So I can't really give any opinions. I'm not a security expert, but I just trust that they're going to make the right decisions. Superintendent Narcisse told parents the district is limited to certain resources, but they are actively working on a strategy to provide the safest environment possible for every student. Transparency equals trust, and the more that families feel confident that you are supporting and being consistent and, and working through with them on solving issues, the better it is. Parents also discussed ongoing issues around bus transportation and staffing across the district. Nursey says the meeting gave his team new insight into how they can approach some of these issues. My goal is to make sure that they see that we're actually enacting on making a change that they recommended so they feel like, you know, it's a part of our community together as we improve our school system. Nursey says this will take time and it will take everyone to put the district on the path to success. It's a collective village that's moving the work for children, and as we facilitate together to do that, that's how our school system will improve. The next town hall will take place Thursday at Capitol Middle School. That meeting will start at 530. Guys, back to you. Perry, thank you.